Hey beautiful Sagittarius, welcome back to the channel guys. Thank you all for joining me here. I hope you're all, ooh, victory. Okay, so something to do with your emotions. What's going on? Protecting your emotions, protecting your emotions. Yeah, you're using more logical approach down, Saj. You are putting something together here and you're using your you're using your common sense. You're using uh discretion. You're getting a hold of your emotions here. Things to do with your home and destiny, a new beginning and a success. You could be doing something that's making you very joyful. This is things for humanity. It's like, it's finding your destiny. Finding success with home, a new beginning, security, solid foundations, joy. It's bringing you in a success and why do I feel this energy just let me give me a sec to cleanse this energy of fear I don't know what this is trying to take over here or something let's just go Sagittarius you've got your freedom Something that you've endured. You've had a lot of burdens, a lot of fears. Hmm. And it's almost like... What has ever happened, it's like beyond reproach. It's like this is something that somebody cannot come back from. You know? I'm saying you're trying to keep calm here. You're trying to communicate calmly. Now, this could be, have to do with children. Um, a message of forgiveness. Forgive. Forgive. Somebody just wants you to be happy here. A lot of emotions here. What's going on? Somebody started something here. This is ancient healing and wisdom. Being vulnerable. It's like you're being rebirthed here. This is love and compassion and rainbow blessings. A new beginning, a new dawn. The fog is lifting. Just breathe in the forest. Just breathe. Remain calm because it's like you are innocent here. is childhood innocence.
You could be seeing a lot of rainbows, Sagittarius. I sure know I have been seeing a lot. You could be seeing a, a lot of rainbows. This is like shaman healing energy. This is also like blessings. Well... Oh my. I just love here. Sadness and betrayal. Pain, burden of tears. This is humanity. Strength. Oh my Lord, what's going on? There is violence here. There is trauma. There is a burden of tears. It's like This is inertia. This is a hangman position. This is like, this is a shaman. This is a healer. a lot of burdens a lot of tears shed over something I don't know if this is punishment if this is like joy and happiness for you and it's almost like Oh, geez. So we're looking at the king and the queen of wands here. Something's come full circle or completion of something. A new, a new dawn, a new day. It's like... There's been a lot of heavy burdens. Like something needed to be unveiled. Like some some form of like unveilment the fog someone's been in like a fog it's like the fog is lifting there is karma and now i don't know if this is depression or if this is oh so you've had to move you've had to move or 
this is like prayers this is also like getting your balance back and it's about patience you are moving forward you are receiving blessings some success here to do with your work now common sense some kind of tower some kind of justice forgiveness for a break family uh someone being very selfish here Getting some good news here, and someone's been jealous. This could be someone's ex wife, or ex girlfriend, or ex spouse, or this is somebody who is a spouse, is very jealous of the attention you're getting. They're competing with you. Calling you a fool. You're being blessed. Some kind of common sense or logic or discernment is here. Somebody's been lying to protect a spouse or to protect someone else. So somebody childhood Yeah. Someone is very toxic here. Someone is like <coughs> somebody's been mocking you. Now I don't know if this is somebody's spouse, somebody's a family member's spouse. I don't know. They've been mocking you, making fun of you, calling you a fool. Uh, talking about you, talking about your kids, if you have kids. Uh, mocking you, making fun of you. Sticking their nose in your relationships, your partnerships and your relationships. Somebody um, 
it's someone they've been marking everything about you they've been marking your relationships your relationships with lovers and your close personal relationships even with your own family and with your own children if you have children someone is highly jealous of you very vindictive it's like they're holding a grudge it's like They've been interfering. They've had something to say about everything about you. And this has been going on a long time. Like a long time. Somebody definitely been sticking their nose where it don't belong. In all your relationships, that is those with lovers and those with those that are not lovers. People that are close to you. Um... They're getting their digs in. This is a person that talks over you. And your spirit team is taking care of them. They're jealous of the love that you're getting. And they're jealous of the attention you're getting. Trust no one. And now you're very intellectual. It's like you're very tuned in with the universe, with your intuition. You're always going to be 10 steps ahead of them. They want to come talk over you. They are lacking abundance and they're trying to lower your self-esteem. They're trying to look into your life with their mind like they're trying to predict what you're going to do next. They're trying to predict what you're going to do with your money. They're trying to predict what you're going to do with your money and with your relationships. Their finances will perish. They're mad because they see you winning. And it could be an X. They cannot operate on the frequency you're on, that you're on and they're trying to defame your name. This is a Build-A-Bitch. A major copycat. So it could be your person's X or your own X or an ex-friend or... They're a copycat. They defame you and then steal your ideas. They defame you and then claim credit for your success. They defame you. They, they... They can't stand to see you happy. They can't stand to see you happy. It's like they want to destroy everything you've built. They want to destroy your name, your finances, your relationships. They want to tear you down. And it doesn't matter. They want to tear down your relationships with your kids if you got kids. They don't care. They're merciless. It's all about winning. They, they're an it all They think they know more than you. They talk over you. They... Um, They can't shut up. They can't keep your name out of their mouth. Give me three more cards for this. You'll always be ten steps ahead of them. They are toxic mentally and they manifest um, they manifest dark and negative stuff. So this is a, a 
a Debbie Downer or a, you know, somebody who's got nothing good to say about anybody unless it benefits them. And then they're going to try and make nice with you. They're salty. Trying to get a reaction from you and to get your attention. So they're being nasty. At this, they're salty and they're bitter and they're vengeful and they're trying to get a response or a reaction from you. And they are blocked by holding on to grudges. I told you they got a grudge. And it's like what seems to be they're envious of your children if you got them. Envious of your confidence. Envious maybe of your finances. And they're trying to recruit haters. Fake friends since the beginning. So they try to pretend that they're supportive to you or that you're, you know, we're friends. You know, it could be Facebook friends even. It's like they're trying to pretend that they are your friend, but they're ripping you down. They're a fake. Your God-given abilities irritate them, okay? But you'll always be ten steps ahead of them. And it's almost like they talk over you. You go to say something they'll finish it or they'll cut you off or they think that they know more than you know but they know jack shit they don't know shit And I don't like to say that about everybody. They think that they're smarter than you. This is somebody who will say something just to get a reaction from you. Like say something cruel or say something mean just to see they'll smirk. If they know they've hurt you. And protect your innocence because it's like you're innocent of whatever they've accused you of or whatever <laughs> that's the weird part that's why they're getting blocked because you're innocent you're innocent of what they've been saying that you're innocent of whatever crime they think you committed or atrocity you committed. You're innocent here. Very destructive force. And it's all to get a reaction out of you. They want to cause you to react. Some people is just like very toxic minded. I don't know if they intend to do this or if it's unintentional. Some people just don't know any better. I'm going to put it out there. Some people just don't know how to behave. They don't know how toxic they are. They don't know that the things that they're doing is creating their own downfalls. Like... They don't know any better. I don't know how else to say it. Some people is just dumb. They think they're smart, but they're stupid. It's like they think that by defaming you, 
they think that by calling you down, they think that by trying to attack you, it's like they get jollies. They get pleasure out of seeing you upset or they get pleasure that this is the type that will smirk when they know they've hurt you. They got a personality disorder and they manifest dark freaking shit. They do by their own negativity. They want you to get angry and they're angry that you're ignoring them. You're too powerful and you're too strong for this these people. And it's like, oh my God. So they want to control your finances. They want to control your opportunities. It's like they want your life. A psycho. It's like they want your life. They want what you have. They want to be you. They envy you. They envy your strength. They envy... It pisses them off to see you strong. It pisses them off to see you confident. It pisses them off bad. Because it's like they think that you're getting this. It just comes to you effortlessly. You know what I mean? And it doesn't, Sag. You, this is something you've really worked hard for. And they think it just comes to you effortlessly. And they're crying the blues and feeling sorry for themselves and stuff like that. They're playing the victim card. It's due to your diligence, your vigilance, your strength, your character, your confidence in yourself and your joy and your peace. And they hate it. Your blessings. It's like you're celebrating something that you have created and you've done it alone. It's like you've done it in isolation. That's that vulnerability and that's that empathy and that sympathy that you have. People taking advantage of you, your vulnerability. You have this childlike sense of wonder, a childhood innocence. You don't think on the same page as these people. You don't even come close to thinking on this person's level or these people's level. You don't think like that. And it's almost like you've had to like study the darkness to figure out these people it's like you're trying to like figure them out you're trying to like why are you even doing this like your heart space is saying why are you even doing this to me why are you attacking me why are you behaving this way You don't think on their level. Your brain will not go there. Your brain won't go there. You cannot comprehend why they're doing this. It's like 
it's like the reason why it's so hard for you to figure out why they're behaving like this and why they're deliberately trying to hurt you and why they're doing certain things against you it's your innocence it's your vulnerability they think that you're vulnerable they think they can take advantage of you they think that they're better than you they're tr they're trying to like step on you belittle you make you feel small so they can feel big that's a coward i don't care if it's a male or a female they're cowardly and they're scared to come at you alone so they recruit haters and their Saji just keeps forgiving them. You've cried over these people. You've shown them respect. You, you have tried to treat them as you would like to be treated, but they're not treating you as you've treated them. They hate it when you're happy. It's their loss. You tried to guide them. You tried to like, whoever these people are, you've treated them with respect. You've treated them with generosity. You've treated them with kindness and gentleness and forgiveness. It's not like you wanted to set out to have an enemy. Okay. You did not set out to have an enemy. They can't stand you because of who you are. You mirror something in them that they hate seeing. They thrive on upheaval. It's like... over your gifts you've been generous these are people you've gifted these are people you've been generous with you have been offered them everything that you have but they will not treat you with respect and it's almost like it makes them nuts when you're happy it makes them nuts when you uh, forgive them why why i guess there are just some things you're not meant to understand and that's one of them you you to understand these folks you'd have to get down and dirty like they are <laughs> And that's just not a place that you should go. But it is your innocence and it is your vulnerability and it is your naivety that are your blessings. These are blessings in disguise. The fact that you do not dwell where they dwell. Your heart, your mind cannot go where they go they manifest some pretty dark shit here man by their own thinking you're not doing a thing here Satch. you're innocent you don't 
act like them. You don't think like them. You're on a totally different level than them. And I'm not trying to like make you out to be special people. And I'm not trying to make you sound like you are saints or something like that. I'm just saying there are just some souls that don't think like that. And it's hard for people to believe that someone is actually good and that someone is actually caring and that someone is actually happy and that someone is actually happy to to be generous and happy. It's their own mindsets. It's their own minds because their minds do not think like that without expecting something in return or expecting something your mind is like you wouldn't have given it if you didn't want to give it you wouldn't have said it if you didn't want them to know it it's like they can't take you at face value they've been a fake friend since the very very beginning fake support They're not you, Satch, and they'll never be you. Now protect your innocence. Protect your vulnerability. Protect your naivety. It's not a bad thing. It's a blessing in disguise. All these traits and qualities that you possess, they are not a bad thing. There's nothing wrong with giving love and nothing wrong with being generous and nothing wrong with being a loving, kind person. It's on them if they abuse that. It's on them if they distort that. It's on them. That got nothing to do with you. You're still going to be kind. You're still going to be gentle. You're still going to have those beautiful qualities. They're not destroying that from you. You've just learned to be more discerning with it. That's all. And they got their tail in a ruffle. Then maybe they should treat you with respect. Or stay away. Because it's looked like you're distancing yourself from people. And that's what you're supposed to do. It's like, it's not like you're not willing to forgive them, but they can't even acknowledge they've done anything wrong. Take care. <laughs>